Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Thursday, March 9th. The opening sentence is from Psalm 51. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my misdeeds. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in his presence to give thanks for the great benefits we have received at his hands, to declare his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation. Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent according to your promises. Declare to all people in Christ Jesus, our Lord, and grant to most merciful Father for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ desires not the death of sinners, but that they may turn from the wickedness and live. He has empowered and commanded his ministers to pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution or remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all who truly repent and genuinely believe his holy gospel. For this reason, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that our present deeds may please him, the rest of our lives may be pure and holy, and that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lenten end upon page 30. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, of whom I swore my wrath. They should not enter into my rest. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Oh, come, let us adore him. We'll now have the psalm reading and the gospel reading. The psalm reading for today is Psalm 19. It can be found starting on page 289. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day speaks to another and one night gives knowledge to another. There is neither speech nor language, and their voices are not heard. But their sound has gone out into all lands, and their words to the ends of the earth. In them he has set a tent for the sun, which comes forth as a bridegroom, out of his chamber, and rejoices like a strong man to run his course. It goes forth from the uttermost part of the heavens, and runs a about to the end of it again, 
and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, than the drippings from the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant taught, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often he offends? Oh, cleanse me from my secret faults. Keep your servant also from presumptuous sins, lest they get the dominion over me. So shall I be undefiled and innocent of great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The gospel reading for today can be found in Matthew chapter 17, beginning with verse 24. It concludes at chapter 18, or sorry, yeah, chapter 18, verse 14. A reading from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew, beginning with the 17th chapter, the 24th verse. When they came to Capernaum, the collectors of the two drachma tax went out to, up to Peter and said, does your teacher not pay the tax? He said, yes. And when he came into the house, Jesus spoke to him first, saying, What do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take toll or tax? From their sons or from others? And when he said from others, Jesus said to him, Then the sons are free. However, not to give offense to them, go to the sea and cast a hook and take the first fish that comes up. And when you open its mouth, you will find a shekel. Take that and give it to them for me and yourselves. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus saying, who's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And calling, him a, and calling to him a child, he put him in the midst of them and said, truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me, but whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world for temptations to sin, for it is necessary that temptations come, but woe to the one by whom the temptation comes. And if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than with two hands or two feet to be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into the hell of fire. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven, their angels always see the face of my father who is in heaven. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the 99 on the mountain and go in search of the one who went away? And if he finds it, truly, I say to you, he rejoices over it more than over the 99 that never went astray. So it is not the will of my father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle this morning is the Curie Pantocrator. Canticle 3, found on page 81. Lord and ruler of the hosts of heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of all their righteous offspring, you made the heavens and the earth with all their vast array. All things quake with fear at your presence. They tremble because of your power. But your merciful promise is beyond all measure. It surpasses all that our minds can fathom. O Lord, you are full of compassion, long-suffering and abounding in mercy. You hold back your hand. 
you do not punish as we deserve. In your great goodness, Lord, you have promised forgiveness to sinners, that they may repent of their sin and be saved. And now, O oh Lord, I bend the knee of my heart and make my appeal sure of your gracious goodness. I have sinned, O oh Lord, I have sinned, and I know my wickedness only too well. Therefore, I make this prayer to you. Forgive me, Lord, forgive me. Do not let me perish in my sin, nor condemn me to the depths of the earth. For you, O oh Lord, are the God of those who repent, and in me you will show forth your goodness. Unworthy as I am, you will save me in accordance with your great mercy, and I will praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For all the heavens of po powers of heaven sing your praises, and yours is the glory from ages to ages. Amen. The Apostles' Creed is found on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Oh Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O oh Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O oh Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O oh Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Free in us, clean hearts of God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities that may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts that may assault and hurt the soul through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A call for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. We now have a time for prayer. In particular, we pray for our Diocese of the Southwest. Sacred Lord, Holy God, Almighty Father, we praise your name and worship you and thank you for your many blessings that you uh, give to us. We would especially lift up our diocese and ask you to remember uh, the Churches uh, spread throughout our very large diocese, hedge them round about with protection, and empower them uh, to grow. Yes, Lord, we ask you to uh, put a covering of protection, light, and encouragement uh, around this diocese and around our bishop, around all the committees that uh, 
get organ do the work of organizing and uh, uh, helping us all to have a sense of direction um, uh, and following the the logical steps it takes to go from where we are to where we want to be, where you want us to be, um, especially church planting and the process of discernment of those who wish to move forward and uh, become deacons or priests. These are uh, sacred decisions, uh, decisions that are made with with the prompting of the Holy Spirit and it takes years for a person to discern these things and years for others to help in that process. And so we ask you for a special covering uh, over these works. Uh, we ask you to protect all the priests and priests to be in this diocese. You know who they are, Lord, so touch their hearts, quicken their hearts to seek this. Those who are seeking it but perhaps should not let them know that, Lord, and let them know that uh, it is not your will that they pursue this. Uh, let the committees, the discernment committees, who are seeking to help these people also know what your will is. Um, bless all those who have answered that call, such as Father Pete and Father Michael, Deacon Bill, and the assistant priest you have in mind for us whose name you know, but we do not yet. Help us to uh, have patience. And we ask a special blessing for Ron Thompson, who's lost Doris this week, that you will comfort him, comfort all those who are um, grieving over loved ones. Give this diocese a sense of your presence that is so strong that we all remain in awe of your close presence to us. All these things we ask in your name. See prayer, St. John Christostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you are promised your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you'll grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, very good.